Oh. Secret Room. A little bit. Oh, nice. Have a light. I'm glad that I brought my AK. What the f what the hell? Okay, I think that it does not attack me. Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Modded. We are playing Ravenous 6.4. Let's continue from where I left off. The dreaded day has arrived. Day 7. Uh, almost 8 a.m. I have started the, the recording a little bit later than usual because I have run some errands before uh, starting recording, which was going back over there to pick up the loot of the last episode that I didn't and clear, clear a couple of zombies around here that, did, uh, that didn't despawn after the night was over. And third but not least, I crafted some wood frames with the help of all of those nail boxes that we got on on the on the pawn shop and i have crafted the most awesome never seen before hard night extravaganza it's going to end poorly but i have several plans that that they are going to work so you don't have to worry about so how is the theory look at this amazing hard base are you ready this is it this is it, the hard way. So, let me explain before you guys uh, switch for another video. Um, I will try to explain. So we have here the hedge, the edge uh, tips, which is the usual block that we that we use to trick the zombies in thinking that they can walk on them when they cannot. In Ravenhurst, to craft this beauty, you need a table saw, and I have a table saw just over there. I, I, I showed you guys the table saw... Let me see, episode number two or number three, when I checked that house for the first time, that's when I showed you the table saw. And the, I think the requirements or the or the, the cost for this hedge it's exactly the same as a as a exact, exactly the same as a, a wood frame. And we have a lady over here. Can you help, lady? Can you please I hope it works. I hope it works. I would like that lady to follow this path over here. Perhaps because of the wood frames, she passing somewhere else. Let me just because so no connection. So if they want to reach me here in the top, they need to start going up here. We have any place again? You, you. Let me call that lady. Lady, can you? Uh, oops, <laughs> so, sorry, and I killed her, when I don't want to kill any, anyone, it's when you shoot and uh, you get a one shot kill, oh well, uh, lady, can you please follow me around, let me see if I can go, okay. let me see if I can do this quick, in, quick enough, okay, so, can you please go up, so, first step, I want uh, not a ramp, but the block so that they jump. So I will try that it will enable me for, and then there you go. What I want by the steps, it's that they jump. And if they are jumping, they are not as fast. And hopefully I will get just one on this platform at a time. And I can, if I move over here, being with the spear or the club, smash them in the face i have this block if they jump they might jump over here or over there and if that happens i will switch to the ak but if just one gets over there i can get easily uh, um, uh, strike to the head and they will fall down and it will repeat all over again so amazing plan right probably i don't have to worry about anything because it's going to work 100 uh, percent or not I thought about this design specifically for one reason. The resources in Ravenhurst are so scarce that if I try anything fancy, even the regular corridor, I don't want to spend 
arrows or bullets on the next Fortnite. They are hard to find and I need them to, my, to do my loot runs. I don't want to spend all the bullets on my AK on a, on a random Fortnite and then I don't need the bullets uh, for a wolf or for a dog that I will find in one of the, of the POIs. It's much more important to loot than fight the horde. With that system over there, if it works, I will get the experience by killing several zombies, not a lot, but several, and I will only use the club and the spear. So no ammo use, nothing. So hopefully it's going to turn out wonderfully, it's going to be amazing, the best hard night ever, or if it's going to end very poorly and I will fall back over here and cry over here until the horde is over. That's one of the two. I will ret return over here and then remove the blocks and kill the zombie with the AK that, that is following me and then fall back over here. That's the plan. Hope it works. Have here some schematics that I found last episode. Heavy storage schematic. I will read this one. It would be amazing if I could replace these hefty storage bags. And I have here the improved fitting mod which we can pick up a part of my can go in iron gloves can modify we will move a little bit faster and there and that's pretty much it I have sorted my stuff I have here bullets and and schema and mods I have here the tools that I'm not using and I want a shovel for my next task what else? I have here the uh, seeds, some seeds. Over here, the, the regular food. I'm going to eat one of these. Over here, um, first aid material, medicine material. I have still to place more stuff on that bag. Over here, drinking area. So in terms of drinking, we are sorted. Until I can craft the uh, the... The water purifier, I think I have them sorted with water. Here, random stuff. Some cruise handlebars, some junkers chassis, some money. More junk. Over here, uh, the resources that I use the most and the medicine that I will move to the other trash bag. Extra cloth and uh, the schematics. These ones I might scrap, I might read. We have here expanded storage schematic. We have just read one stimuler. I don't know exactly what it will unlock. It's a, an ammunition box. I don't want it now and I prefer that knowledge points. But it might unlock extra storage. So I will keep it and, and decide later. First part of the day. or um, I want to go back where we were last episode. We are going to double check quickly. And we can, I can walk and talk. It will save me time. I will double check four resources because that might work but it's it's not going to work if it's just wood frames so i want to upgrade i want to upgrade with wood but after upgrading with wood i think i need cobblestone so let's see how much i can upgrade those blocks because the zombies will try to destroy most of it i have a steel pickaxe that i need to pick up and we have a couple of zombies that, that have just spawned down come on so i want to get the resource piles on both of these POIs. we might get a little bit of stone uh, cobblestone perhaps cement concrete let me see what i can get because i will use it to upgrade the blocks Amazing the, the punishment that these guys take. So we have here several blocks. I will pick all of these. These ones give a nice amount of stone. That is. And with the steel pickaxe. It's not that boring. We have cement over here. Yeah, 
Whoa. I'm also hearing some zombies. Okay, word of advice. Don't go for the airdrops. In the first couple of weeks. Because what? I don't know why that guy is inside. Because the airdrops are very tough. You will get zombies spawning. So if you go to the airdrops, be prepared for a fight. More friendlies incoming. Down. If they have green eyes, they are easier to tackle. This isn't the best house. Upstairs, do we have uh, more uh, construction material over here? have the air conditioners that I did not search. Let me check quickly. Empty. Okay, some nuts and bolts. Should wrench all of this. It's not going to be today. I'm finding screws, mechanical parts. Nice. Yep. But over here, I don't, I don't see nothing that you can... That you can harvest for resources. At least on this POI. So let's go down. In over here now. Okay. Hello, Zombo. Here a running loot. Some of them, when you smash them, they start sprinting. So, so be, be careful if you are uh, playing with um, a melee or you are doing uh, a melee quest line because it's when you are closer that they get more dangerous. So, I have a little bit of materials main task it's clearly upgrade that area and also harvest these bodies for the bones and i should probably switch between one of these because i think we get a little bit more from the bodies if i harvest with the the bone knife and uh, also wood and now i'm going to try to solve my food problems if you remember first or second ep episode, I don't remember which, the one that we checked that house over there. I did run away from a, a, a dog, from a zombie dog. And we are going to say hello to that zombie dog right now. And these guys keep spawning and spawning. Don't you turn your back to me. Behave. Face me like a man. Face me like a zombie. Lady, lady, lady. Okay. And she's done. I'm trying to kill the dog, let's see. And I had to, to try to kill it with the blunderbuss, right? Let me just recover my stamina. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh. Three. three shots on the blunderbuss, three kills, right? And you have here some, some materials. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 
Okay. Animal hide. We need animal hide for one of the quests. And I think I will have to speak with the Blunderbuss Syndicate. I think I have done a good job in showing how good a Blunderbuss can be. Doing some noises. One lady over here. You, oh, you are stuck. Poor lady. Don't you destroy the, the, the materials because I need them, okay? Oh. There you go. Straight into my club. It's choppy. Here are the frames. Okay, I will deal with the pig in a moment. You are dead, right? Yes. the pig later well even the pig we have over there one pig another one here and if i remember another one here or four pigs and that's a lot of food and since the food spoils and i know that these pigs are, are not going anywhere i might even leave them over, uh, over here and when i need more meat or when I have better ways to keep the meat, I will return for them. Ooh. Grass cutter, it's so nice. I have to show you guys. Here. Ooh. Oh. Can I repair you? Okay. We have to ex export those... those um... I'm going to explore those um, those letters. Let me just go drop everything. And we will return. Hope I don't get. Hope I don't re regret doing that. was a surprise. I was expecting the dogs. I, I thought it was just one, but uh, I'm not expect. I was not expecting the. Why didn't I bring my bone? Wouldn't matter much. Can I probably craft one more after repairing the the other one. Well, let's see if I need one. And let's switch. I don't want to get scared. Or I don't want to die. Can I please move down? Ooh. Secret room. Little bit. Oh, nice. Level 8. I'm glad that I brought my AK. The bad part is I only have 11 bullets and I was not prepared. Not prepared for these shenanigans. It was going to be a pleasant, easy day. And I still have to upgrade all of my base. But I still have them. I still have time. Is big. What the f what the hell? Okay, I think that it does not attack me. Okay, we have a working chemistry station. So nice, nice, nice. Don't get distracted. Ooh. We have here food for days. It moves slowly. Open pills. Rip off, rip off. One, six seconds, come on. Three, two, 
We don't be doing this. Be doing this. We have, but we have a working chemistry session. That's real. Think. Look like it was the diamonds. Radio radioactive waste. And this is so much side tracking that it's not even funny. Right? If I leave Grace alone, Grace and Grace, I'd imagine that she, they leave me alone also. I might even return here later. Have grace, grace, and that one is empty. But because no, 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 no. Going to leave. No, 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 no. Now I'm hearing dogs. Okay. They, it seems that they are pro they are behind steel bars. So so, I have time. I have time to when I go down there for the next time to shoot them in the face until they die I would imagine but I need to exit the area so that they stop bashing on the steel bars because if I stay over there keep looting or keep harvesting the materials what will happen is they will slowly destroy the, um, the bars and then I'm done. If I run away when they destroy the bars, the next time that I'll go there, they should be free. And I don't want that to happen. That's why I decided to do a strategic withdrawal. In my grand plans, I decided that I should leave the area so I have 21 and I think for the next part of the day I will just upgrade with a time lapse or not even if it needs a time lapse or will I, I will skip the remaining part of the day until the horn because it is just something like this and all that spare time that I will have it's going to gather cobblestone to upgrade even more the blocks hoping for the best like this perhaps I will have to kill some zombies craft perhaps also some uh, torches so that we can see something better and we can upgrade two times might need to go out and get more wood and then I will need cobblestone Well, I can keep doing this before the heart, and you, you don't need to be watching. I know that my technique of upgrading blocks is amazing, but even with that amazing technique, you don't need to keep watching. So, it's upgrade probably this second block to cobblestone, because usually it's where zombies try to bang on it. And probably also these ones for cobblestone. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, I was hearing some zombies. Hello, oh it's a crawl. And one more gentleman over here. I need to go and craft some food. Okay. And I, I, I have meat somewhere that I, I need to, to, to see if I can craft something. If I craft, if I craft the, the drying rack, I think I can craft some jerky. So that would be nice. I will try to do also that before the hard night. So my friends, a small time lapse or something like that. And let's get ready for the hard.
and before building for the horde. This AK 101, she uses 556 bullets. Yeah, and I had I have a lot of them, so that's really nice. So guys, let me prepare for my last horde in Ravenhurst. And it's about time and of course I am late for my party. One let's cross over here, pick up the wood frames and then slowly get into this spot and let's wait for them without falling down. And you can use the spear to poke them while they move. There you go. And they lose. If everything works as planned, they will lose balance and they cannot even to try to jump. Okay, there you go. And oh, al almost. Oh, I tried. I would imagine that some of them might reach it. There you go. But most of them... Everyone is in line. There you go. Okay, down. There you go. Okay. We have an expanded tool belt and I need to make sure that I press 7. There you go. Okay, and you go down. You reload. Can I reach with the club? There you go. Oh, lady. There you go. That is... What are you doing, you two? You naughty, naughty zombies? No, I don't want to... Oh, go away, go away. Oh, oh there goes my spear. <laughs> okay, perhaps someone can pick it up. If it's not too much to ask. Oh. Oh, and someone did! Thank you very much! Thank you! Oh. No, I'm missing all the shots. Come on. Concentrate. Behave. There you go. If I time it correctly, when they start to jump, I will smack them in the face and they will lose balance. And nothing nasty happens. It's kind of risky. But, oh well. Because they are fast in a regular corridor. There you go. In the regular corridor, they are fast. But since they reach over here and they need to turn right, they are kind of low. Okay. Jump! Jump! Nice. get over here and then get smacked in the face. That's unfortunate for you. Lady? Come on. My main problem with this weird design it's clearly um, the hit points. Oh, there you go. Because if they start smacking down there they might break all of this. Concentrate. There you go. If we are concentrated, we can smack them in the face. So far, so good. I didn't. I wasn't expecting. Ooh, and we can search the loot. Oh, amazing. Very nice. I wasn't expecting for these locks to last. 
but they are behaving, they are breaking some stuff below, but we should be safe from falling, but I was afraid that they would break those blocks. There you go, next. I can, I can spank you a little bit, there you go, while you decide to go down, you get spanked. And midnight, there you go. Next. With the spear, you can hit them, you can hit them in both blocks. In that one, over here and over there. So you have twice the shots with the spear. I can show you. He's over there and... and oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That dance move. Dance move. There you go. And you can hit them over there. And a couple of more shots over here. I, I, I prefer the club because I'm doing more damage with the club. But if you, for instance, have found a spear or something like that, and it's very easy to very easy to have a design like this. Okay, I'm liking it. And one more for the count. Blunt weapons has increased. Of course, this, if you, if I had birds, that would be a little bit more annoying. Very well, my friends. We can be all night over here. Next. Oh, sorry. Come on. They twist, they kind of go in the, instead of, some of them, instead of t turning right, they turn left. Like this lady, they decided to move left. Perhaps we have left-handed zombies, and right-handed. Perhaps it's, it's a thing, and I don't know. There you go. Oh, that lady is, is I think it's the... Third time that she comes over here and I missed a shot in her head. Come on, lady. There you go. She was al almost dead. Just, just one more fat lady. Do I have more zombies or... Or, is, is, or did, we, did we finish off the horde? That would be amazing. Finishing off the first horde in Ravener's... That would be simply amazing. One, two ladies, at least two ladies. I'm not seeing any more zombies. Come on. Oh, come. Let's switch for the spear. There you go. Let's make me the fun. I prefer the club because it's fast and you need to quickly remove them from this top block. Because they might get on top of each other and then they will reach this platform. But if they are you, you can use the spear. You can poke them over here. There you go. And one more over there. Next. There you go. And we are also increasing our spear usage. There you go. We are down, maybe. You are also down. I'm hearing one more. Tumbling down, we have a crawler over there. Oh, poor crawler. Let me use the bow. Can I hit you? I don't think so. Oh, poor fellow. Trying so hard. I'm not going down. I'm not going down. You, you can even stay there forever. I really don't care. Okay. Let's move back over here. Even this blood pile of bones. I was afraid because in the first minutes 
a couple of zombies did reach this platform and I thought well what a great uh, what a great design before dying but it hold out very well it's still functional so that's really nice and it's so cheap in terms of materials and places that you can build that it might be a solution for some Horde Knights. I'm really glad on the design. Even wood, second layer of wood, I would think that it, ha it would last. Very nice indeed. Easy to set up. You just, did, you just did any POI with a higher wall. You can even build one, one wall like this one if you don't have one. And it's ready to use in terms of damage. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Wow, I'm so happy. Uh, I love when when a plan turns out turns out right. I really do. Before finishing off, I have here a can of fried insects that I can eat. What else? What else? Uh, I think I can complete one of one of these quests. Let me see. Craft a drying rack. It's this one. It turn turn on active. Eight twine. Mm. Forget about the the number of twine. One might be sh a little bit short on twine. Two. That's that's it. All of this sorted. But I don't think that there is any more twine. I was hoping for. I have just four twine. I wanted, and we can check that out. I have here seven raw meat. What do I have here? Four more. Eleven. B. X. Just anything else that I can eat? I don't think so. If I go here, we don't have a grill, cooking pot. I do have a cooking pot somewhere. Still need to find a group so with the cooking pot well oh we can fry we can fry an egg and the bacon and eggs oh we need the bacon and eggs raw meat and pot but we need fried eggs so for the fried eggs we need okay 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 it's a little bit different so let's fry some eggs i think we deserve a nice good meal and even fried three. Craft some bacon and eggs. We deserve a nice bacon and eggs or a nice defense on hard night. Very nice. One bacon and eggs. Got a fried egg, sure. Ooh, fried egg. Ten stamina, five health. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And remember, we have several pigs that we can harvest over there. They are not going anywhere. Instead of killing them and getting the meat to um, spoil, I prefer to go there when I need. So we have... Now I can craft bacon and eggs. There it is. One egg. And the last egg. Okay. The uh, bacon and eggs give me 36, uh, 18 and food poisoning 4%. Fried right egg gives me 10, 5. It's it's yeah it's 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 a nice value. Let's grab you. No food poisoning. I can also eat a nice fried egg. I can even leave him leave it here and I don't know how long it's going to last. I do know that there are different um, values to spoil. I, I need I I might go and check the the XML files to see if I can understand how fast a food spoils because if it, if it lasts one day i will live here eat for the next day and 
uh, if but if it, if it doesn't i don't want to go away and start looting somewhere and then all of these spoils or perhaps they all have the same uh, spoilage type so my friends very long episode i do hope you have enjoyed i'm so proud i am really i am really proud i am patting myself on the back good game good game you, you deserve it amazing you are an amazing player well, the 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 hard base worked, or I don't know even even if I can call it hard base. That uh, group of blocks worked, and I am really happy about it. Checking the quests, I don't think that I can progress any further in any of them. Uh, so oh well, we'll, we will have to keep searching and looting and surviving in Ravenhurst world. I do hope you have enjoyed, let me know in the comments what are your thoughts, and I do hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, thank you.